name the rectangle. The rectangle has two names. One name is the amount, the other name, the dimensions. Now you should be able to look at that and tell me immediately what the amount is. The name in terms of amount is, one, two, three, four, five, five, four times, 20. The name is 20. 20 what? 20 squares. How do we write squares? Two zeros. 20 squares or 20 hundreds, 2,000. Our dimensions are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is the dimension over 5 bars of 10. The dimension up is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. 4 bars of 10. Now that we have our rectangle sitting here, let's look at a multiplication problem. In multiplication, we start out with the dimensions. Let's look at something like Let's make it something like 12 times 14. 12 times 14. Of course, we will rewrite that from shorthand to longhand. We will rewrite that as 10 plus 2 and 10 plus 4. Here we have over distance, up distance. Okay, we have to build a rectangle given that information. Let's build our rectangle. Notice, we have to come over one bar of 10. Let's do that. Let's come over one bar of 10. Here I will come over one bar of 10. And I'll slide this over so that's all we see is that we're over. We are over 10. But we need to come over two more units. I will do that. I will come over two more units. I have come over my over distance, 10 plus 2. I am over 10 plus 2. Now let me check and see how far I should be up. I should be up 10 plus 4. I will come up 10. I must also come up 4 more. I have come up 4 more. I am over 10 plus 2. I am up 10 plus 4. And now to complete my rectangle, I need to fill in the corner. 
here, I will get out the piece to fill in the corner. Okay, notice, I built my rectangle starting with my distances over and up, dimensions, or factors. Notice, I now have multiplied because I have built a rectangle. Multiplication is building a rectangle. I was given what? I was given one name. This is one name. Dimensions or factors is one name of a rectangle. Now I want to find the other name for the rectangle, the amount. I will write down the amount. But what I can see is that my rectangle is made up of four rectangles. So let's write down the amount in each one of those rectangles. Notice there is the rectangle to the top and to the right. It contains eight units. There is the rectangle next to the units. It contains four tens. Here we have this rectangle with two tens. And here we have this rectangle, 100. So what do we have totally? We have 100. We have six tens. We have H units. Or we have 160. Eight. What did we do when we multiplied? We found the second name or the other name for the rectangle. We were given the first name, the factors. Now we must find the second name, the amount, 168. Let's do another multiplication problem. Let's do 23 times 32. 23 times 32 means we're given the factors 23 over, 32 up. We could call factors also dimensions, the dimension over, the dimension up. We could also call it distance, distance over, distance up. And here we wrote our shorthand into longhand. Now notice. It doesn't matter what grid I have as long as I examine and see, is this sufficient to come over 2 plus 3? Yes, I can come over 2 bars plus 3, no problem. Can I come up 3 and just come up anywhere? Can I come up 3 bars, 1, 2, 3 bars, plus 2? Yeah, I can. No problem. I could use this grid. I could use this grid just as long as I check. And yes, I can come over. I can come over 2 bars plus 3. I can come up 3 plus 2 more. Let's build our rectangle. I need to come over, and I'll get another piece of paper. I need to come over two bars, first of all. So I come over two bars. 
Now that I've come over two bars, I still need to come over three. I've come over two. I must come over three. And notice I could have come over three right here, but I stop and come over three so that I will have my color coding showing that I have come over three units. I've come over three units and every time I come up ten I've got ten bars. And notice I just grab any rectangle that's over three. Okay, I have come over two plus three. Now I must come up three bars of ten. I will come up one, two, three bars of ten. It's very sensorial. We can see that we're moving up one, two, three bars. Then I must move up two more bars of ten. Not two more bars of ten, I must move up two more units. Here we could see how much more I must move up. I must move up two more units. I came up two more units. Now I need to fill in the corner. I fill in the corner and I multiplied. What is multiplication? Multiplication is building a rectangle. It is building a rectangle so I can find its other name. What is its other name? Let's find out. Here we have six units. Here I have one, two, two bars twice. I have four bars. Here I have one, two, three bars, three bars, three times, three, three times, nine bars. And here I have two squares, one, two, three times, six squares. How much do I have? I can just add them all up here. I have six hundred, four tens, nine tens, six units. I have six units, thirteen tens, which we know is the same as three bars of ten, and one hundred, seven hundred and thirty six. Let's do this multiplication problem. Let's do 21 times 32. We have the one name of the rectangle, over 21, up 32, over 21, up 32, and we wrote it longhand here. Up 20 plus 1, over 20 plus 1, up 30 plus 2. We need to come over 20 plus 1. Then we need to come up 30 plus 2. Okay, let's come over 20 and before we come over the other two, Let's come up 30 or our three bars of 10.
Notice, we can see if we come over our first amount, 20, and stop before we go over our second amount and come up our first amount, we can see exactly what size our first piece or grid needs to be. We could have looked at our problem and said, well, let's see, I need to be over 20 and up 30. And I could have gotten the exact piece. Let's start over again. Instead of using any grid that is large enough, let's get the exact piece that we need. We now have the piece that is over 20. Of course, we need to st still come over one unit, as we see. We've got the piece that's up 30. Of course, we can see that we still need to come up 2. But we looked at our first distance over and our first distance up, and we got our first piece. Now we can extend our rectangle over one unit. I must bring the entire amount over one unit. Well, I can certainly see what piece that is. Here, I can trace my finger over one, up three bars of ten. I can visually see what it is. I come over one more unit. Now I must come up, now that I've come over twenty plus one, twenty plus one, and I've already come up thirty. I'm already up thirty, so now I must come up two more. I must come up one, two more, and I can see what that is, up to and over two bars of ten. I can see what piece that is. Now all I have to do is fill in the corner with a little rectangle, one over, two up. Now I can see that I still have, I have multiplied by the way, I've built a rectangle. Now I want to give the rectangle its other name, amount. Notice, now that I've got four individual pieces, I can slide. I can take the bottom and shift it over, slide it over, so that the units are in one column, the tens are in another column, and the hundreds are in another column. I will also shift my little box Here, I took the bottom part of my box and I pushed it over so that my tens line up. How much do I have now? I have two units and I will shorthand here my amount. I have two, two times. I have four bars. Here I have three bars and here I have six, two, three times six squares or six hundreds. I have a total, two units, seven bars of ten, and six hundreds. I multiplied. I built a rectangle. I multiplied. I built a rectangle so I could find that rectangle's other name. Its other name is 672. 
600, 70, 4 and 3, 7 bars of 10, 70, 2. We should now be ready to start in our first book.